Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna look at the scripting editor and how we can adjust its colors. There are three places where we use the scripting editor in Reaper. The first is in scripts, which would be EEL scripts or Lua scripts, um, actions for Reaper. We also use this in the video processor code. So if you're writing video processor code or even using them, um, you'll see the scripting editor. And also in the JS series plugins, um, you can edit those. And so what we're looking at today is a section of the theme development window, the tweaker window. And uh, down at the bottom, you can actually customize all the colors that you see. And there's even presets that come with Reaper. And this is something that I completely overlooked until earlier this week. And I think it's pretty cool. So let's take a look. All right, so I'm gonna bring up a JS effect and I'll hit the edit button. And in here, we've got this, this code editor, an IDE, they call it. So there's various colors that mean different things. We've got some comments, we've got some variables, some known functions, you know, all these sorts of things. Let's customize those colors using the theme tweaker. So we're gonna go to the action list, search for theme development, show theme tweak configuration window and then scroll down to the bottom. And the interesting thing about this is, while most of these colors in this window only uh, affect the current theme that's loaded, this setting is actually not theme dependent. So this is kind of a global action, uh, or there's, it's really a, a secondary set of themes that you can use. So this is the default. There's also a preset for Justin's uh, desired colors. So it's kind of a, mostly greenish, uh, sort of light blue. Highlighted colors get this nice uh, orangish red, and then the highlighted text actually turns yellow. So pretty cool. You can also load up one of White Tie's themes. Uh, and then we've got White Tie Pale IDE theme, and this is a very very kind of minimal gray. There are four built-in themes. They also load in other themes. I was talking to a user this week about it and they shared their theme. And I also customized my own. So this one, um, this one looks pretty nice and I'll load in mine and I'll share mine with you guys as well. So I've done lots of purple and I don't know, blue green kind of colors, lots of red for if the the um, built-in functions are red, comments are purple. It's a really small kind of tweak you can do to Reaper. Um, but if you're using this window quite a lot, like I am when I'm uh, trying to write some video processor stuff, it makes a big difference. So looking at this again here, we've got options for the foreground and background of pretty much everything in here. So normal foreground and background, status line foreground and background. Uh, selection foreground. So foreground is basically, that's the text or the character color. And then then background is is the area behind it. And I, I tend to keep all the backgrounds the same, but you could actually have, let's find the comment. So here's comment background, and let's just change this to a yellow. And so those things really stand out now. If you work with the code editor in Reaper, highly encourage you to check this out, try out my theme, uh, try out the, the, the other themes from uh, that are included. This is something that I just pretty much overlooked or never noticed before at all. I definitely didn't know that there were presets in here. So uh, I think it's pretty awesome. And that's it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.